Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? That's Lazy Puzzle Goes Cruise. For today. So today we'll be opening up this Astro Radiance Elite Trainer Box. Um, I do have kind of some things to say about um, real quick. I am sorry about the uploading schedule. I haven't been entirely super busy. I've been a tiny bit busy um, um, with some stuff. But really my, my main problem is that I don't actually have anything to open up for you guys. Um, I believe I have this and then two other basically videos for opening up stuff. And I want to space them out rather than do them all right, right, right behind one another. And then have no content for like another week and a half. Um, so because of that, um, I, it, I'm deciding to, of course do this instead so um again i i do apologize because of that um but i just don't have the money for it at, at the current moment um but today we'll be opening up the astro radiance elite trainer box i know i technically skipped over the another box which was the what's this one called um the one before astro radiance uh brilliant stars i didn't open up a elite trainer box for that specific set um i do apologize i i just missed it I've been a little bit more, um, I, I found this one at a local store and I haven't been able to do that. I would have to go personally out to go grab that specific box or order it specifically. Um, so it, it takes a little bit more time. And, and so that's why I haven't picked up that box. Um, same thing with the elite trainer box. I either have to go to a store or buy it online for a good price. And I just haven't gone done that. Also, they're extremely expensive. So I do have plans, hopefully in the upcoming week or so, maybe, um, to order one of the Elite Trainer Box. I want, I mean, a, a booster box. I'm not sure which booster box I'm going to be opening up. Uh, I'm thinking probably Brilliant Stars, but we will see. We'll see. Uh, anyways, let's just get right into it here. Uh, but before we start as well, uh, make sure to check out the giveaway down in the description. All right. I keep forgetting that I actually do have a giveaway because it's been so long. But we did have somebody enter today or yesterday. Um, so most really pretty recently, actually, someone did enter, which is pretty cool. Oh, I like that color. All right. Interesting. I like that. Kind of give me a second, guys. There we go. All right. Uh, one thing I can show you guys is this. So this is the little, uh, I guess, like backboard thing that you guys can put. Um, I cur I have really old ones back here. This is Hidden Fates, Vivid Voltage, a, a Darkness of Blaze, and I think I have a Sunny Moon back there. But um, yeah, this is for uh, this set. Uh, you do get one. This one has one, two, three, four, five. Um, which a lot of them only have four. So that's pretty interesting that they have five there. And then this is the Elite Trainer Box. And it kind of tells you everything that's inside of here. The new rules of some of the new cards. Stuff like that. I think the most important part here is to know which cards you can pull. Um, I don't know much about the set. So this is actually pretty good. Uh, we do have a Beedrill there. Uh, we did end up playing this V-Star. Alright, Heat Ran. VMAX. Pretty cool. A Palkia v uh, V-Star. That's a card you can pull. A Luxray V. That's actually a card I probably want. And a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Because I love the Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Um, I don't know why. That is a very cool v V-Star. V-Stars are pretty cool. So I do want to pull a lot of them. There's a Lucario. I want the Lucario. Oh, Lucario doesn't get a V-Star or anything? That's kind of lame. There is a Machamp V-Max in the regular Machamp. Pretty interesting. Uh, nothing. That's a cool card. Ooh, Dark Cry V Max, uh, V Star. That's probably a playable card too. It's gotta play, be a playable card. The Alga. We do have a Dragon type uh, V card there. That card's probably playable. All right, and towards the end, we got some alternate arts. Um, probably this one looks like an alternate art. That's an alternate art. That is a beautiful card. That oh, I'm a champ. 
Damachamp. Oh, and the Palkia. Those are probably cards that are... Uh, that Jirachi V looks awesome. Did Lakara, my boy Lakara, get one? No, I don't think Lakara did. That's sad. Come on, man. Give some more, even more love to Lucario. It's probably because his his other cards were in a specific different box. Um, that is an absolutely beautiful card. That might be one of the chase cards, actually. Nice full art cards as well. We have the rainbow rares here. What the? Oh, they brought back character cards. Oh, okay. I did not know that. So character cards are back. Ah, yes, I have heard of that. I have totally forgotten about character cards. Um, gold cards? Um, probably the Palkia, Dialga, or this guy as the V, V Star cards, Rainbow Rares. Probably the Champ. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there's some pretty good Rainbow cards here, but oh, these are awesome. The this one's really dope. Then that one has to be my favorite. Oh, okay. So character cards. I didn't know this set. Had this set looks awesome, guys. Again, I have opened up a couple packs of this, but I never really looked into it. Um, I like to keep pretty much myself pretty surprised for stuff. Um, so I, I, I give you guys my genuine reaction to things. Um, so there's that, you know. Um, but that's pretty interesting, actually. Get everything out of the box here. All right, so that's trash. So with the Elite Trader Box, uh, you do get, of course, I think in my personal opinion, the best box that LEGO does, um, I, in my opinion. Uh, they are the best cards to store. They're easily massable. They're great for storage, either this direction, this direction. Um, cards fit here perfectly. They even give you dividers. I think they work absolutely wonderful. The one thing I would watch is that uh, probably the older ones, the new ones are a lot better at this, is that the old ones used to have this thing on the top. Um, and then you can get your cards jam in there. But the new ones don't have that issue, really. Um, so I love these boxes. Um, I use them for storing a lot. Um, they're my favorite boxes for storing Pokemon cards. If you don't want to buy specific ones or don't want to buy a million binders, these are awesome. Um, so I always have to give pokemon pops for this specific box even though it's just cardboard it is a nice cardboard so and i absolutely love this box so um you of course do get um uh this bad boy uh you of course also do get one of these pokemon card trading card rules uh but this is a slightly updated version um the reason they did an updated version is probably because of the v stars and as you can see it's from the uh star brilliant stars um so they had one before i think it was for around sword and shield time not sword and shield base set but slightly afterwards um but yeah so that's pretty cool uh you also do get um like i said four dividers uh to slot into your little areas um you can slot them in like this and then you'll be able to see like oh the in between here is a set of cards in between here is another set so these are always really nice if not then you know they're what they are uh, you do actually get, that's what I thought, you get one of these. Uh, you get the V-Star um, 1. Uh, you get these as well as some other little stuff. I can't remember from the top of my head what other boxes you get the V-Star thing in. Um, but this is pretty cool. I still don't understand why Pokemon decided to um, put the V-Star like little cards in there. Uh, it really bewilders me. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of having energy cards in 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 there. Um, but it makes sense. I think I, I can understand it. Um, but the fact that you put those other cards in there blows my mind. It's not like everybody's be using this specific thing. And if so, if you really want to be playing with this specific thing, uh, then just get a specific box for this set. Um and it's not like they're guaranteed in any box anyway. So it's not like, oh, it's guaranteed at least in every single pack. So then that, that would make a little more sense and also less sense. It, it's a weird, I think, thing. Um, poison and burn counters. I think I think, I think they should be as common as poison and burn counters. Um, you don't see these anywhere uh, unless in specific boxes. But they're crucial for you to play the game. So I feel like the V-Star tags 
or just like the GX tags were done, they should do them like this. In my opinion. Uh, you do get, oh my god. You do get, of course, uh, coin and, and damage. A coin die and a damage counter die. Um, so this is the coin die. Of course, even means heads. And uh, it's done with this translucent. Not transparent. Translucent black. With like really weird spotting. Like flaking of red. I am not a big fan of this color. It doesn't pop out the greatest. Um, but it is what it is. These are pretty cool. They're in a little bit of a weird red. I, almost like a pink color but they're pretty cool i guess i have to be i have to have very specific ones for these for me to actually like uh you do get of course 45 energies and they're the ugly energies i do have to say at that um so just because of that they lost like 100 points um you get do get a coke card full of kumon tcg online and here it's for you guys i don't actually care good luck to whoever gets that Hopefully somebody cool gets it. <laughs> Just joking, guys. I do get sleeves. Um, I do love the sleeves for the uh, for elite turner boxes. Uh, they are technically also legal for tournaments. Um, any any basically sleeves that's done by Pokemon the company themselves is legal. I do have one thing to warn you: they're not the most durable cards ever. Uh, I mean sleeves ever. They will protect your cards at all costs, but then themselves will get ruined pretty fast, especially with shuffling um because of how they're made the glue on the sides will rip out pretty fast um so i would be careful with that um and since a lot some of the torments have pretty harsh issues with um with the actual like how well your sleeves have to be i would have to be careful with 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 these type of sleeves uh you might be better off buying like third party sleeves which are a lot more durable and that's why people end up using those sleeves anyways um they are a little bit loose, so you can put your card into a like uh, a tight sleeve, and then put them in here. And I would not recommend these being the best for um for binders. They do work. Uh, they will protect your cards, but they will ruin your your sleeves. I put them in my binders, but that's because I don't care my uh my my things get ruined. I just want my cards to be extra protected. But if you care about sleeves, it is what it is so ups and downs about these sleeves but they are really nice and they are i think a well integrated price um for the box so and now i can't put them in here there they go all right next we do have the packs so we'll start opening up these bad boys out now let me just put all this stuff in here. Don't want to create a mess or anything. All right, so let's get a little bit closer here. Let's see how many packs. Sometimes they give us eight, sometimes they give us ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. I think eight is standard. Ten is for special slightly boxes for the turn box. So let's just get right into it. See if we can get any good pulls. This is the, actually the first time I'm actually opening up a um, a good amount of Astro Radiance. Um, I've opened up a couple packs, but nothing serious, you know. Turn around. Here we have the ugly energy. Throw that away. Uh, bronze on. Roxana. Rox Roxana. Yeah. Oh my god, that that guy's bothering me. All right. Pretty good art. I'll go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little slower because I, I want to take a little bit better look at the 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 actual cards. Heracross. Terra Suit has a good art. Manatee. This this set does a good art. I remember. Oh yes. And the new, uh, like, Galarian-type thingy. I, I I don't know how I feel about it. Some of them look different. Some of them look the same. All right, we have a Reverse. It is an Uncommon. It's a little Ant-Man. And then we have a Reggie Rice. Non-holographic rare. Nothing too crazy there in our first pack. Second pack here. Oh, actually, I think in my last video... it wasn't. I don't know if it was my last video or the video before. I was talking about, like, sorting cards. I did end up sorting a um, promo cards, which is pretty... It was a solid amount, actually. I'm not going to lie. So that's at least good. I was able to sort at least one, one new thing. Here we have the Guac Energies. Throw that out. Knocked out. Sizu. I don't know if I'm saying that one. Dartrix. Magmite. Terrasuda. 
Sneasel, Barboach, Ghost Lady. Oh, we do have a reverse, and that is um, Raggy, Raggy Drago, Raggy Drago. I have never heard of that Pokemon ever. Um, once in your turn, if this Pokemon is is in the active spot, you may draw cards until you have four cards in your hand. You can't use more than one Dragon Horn ability each turn. Okay. I have no idea what the hell is going on with this card. I've never seen it. And that looks looks like a weird card, but it is what it is. And at the end, we have a actual V card. Let's go. This is 134 out of 189. It's not the most particularly biggest set ever. Frontier Road. Once in your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot, you may move any amount of energies from, from your other Pokemon to it. Interesting. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is actually a good card. Oh, this is playable, guys. This is playable, especially with a two retreat cost. Oof. This is a playable card, man. That is a playable card. I ain't gonna cap. That looks like a strong card. 220, and it, it is colorless. That is a, that's a, that's a playable card, man. I haven't been playing, like, Pokemon TCG online or anything, or, or anything like that. I've been keeping up too much with the... Uh, with um with the uh, like the actual playing stuff i used to definitely so definitely when i started uh collecting again and definitely in the last uh the last couple of months i've just haven't had the time really when i started college like my time went down whack energy sweet honey that looks like a super amazing honey the, the ant man bishop scyther oh we got the boy is he massive? Oh my god, is he like super extremely large? Wait, wait, what? It says 83.8 pounds? I'm so confused. There's no way this... this is that a person? He looks massive. He looks like he's gonna eat everybody. I thought he was like a little, little. I'm so confused. What? I, I don't, I don't understand the scale of some of the Pokemon cards because they're really hard to tell through the actual like cards. But um, that's funny though. All right, here we have a reverse that is a rare as well. <clears throat> oh, it's the last evolution for Usering. I've never seen this one. What the hell? That's an interesting card. It's not the most playable card. And at the end we have... Ooh, we do have a Keldeo there. That is a nice holographic. This stack does 20 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. That is a fairly playable card. That could be like a decent uh, like backup card or something. If it had a better first attack, it would be awesome. Probably. That's a cool card. Oh, but one retreat. Not too bad. That's a nice holographic. Regular hollow. We still have a couple of packs left, actually. This is only our third pack. We got some solid pulls, actually. Uh, I am hoping for a at least one alternate art. I'm hoping at least one for one full art or better. Or a character card. I, w I love character cards, guys. I fucking love character cards. Character cards are some of my favorite cards Pokemon has ever released. They're absolutely amazing. The Blimp Man Dark Patch. I'm still making these. Pillow Swine or something. Puchiina. I love this art. Big Man. The man that takes her kids. Pseudo Udo. Combi. He's the one that gives us all the sweet honey. Temple. Here. All special energies attached to Pokemon. Both yours and your opponents provide one and have no other effect. That's a cool stadium. And at the end, we have a bravery there. Non holographic rare. That first attack is absolutely insane. <laughs> During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Slashing Strike. Okay. All right. I don't know how I feel about that specific attack. That card's okay, I guess. You know? All right, here. We have... 
our next card here. Next pack, I mean. Got that code card out of there. One, two, three, four, to the front. We turn around here. We have eight. Grass energy. Oh my god. I feel like I'll be doing that a lot more. Isn't that just me? Or have I been doing that a lot more? I I'm getting so clumsy, guys. I'm sorry. You guys didn't say anything. Feather ball. Uh, I, I want I want Pokemon to make that into one of these. I dropped another ball. Okay, whatever. But that'll be funny, I think. Wish cash. Man, they made him fat here, I think. Ponyta. Wow. That is an amazing art for that Ponyta. That is beautiful, man. Catot. Bronzar. Rollet. Oshawott. Oh, we do have a nice reverse there. That is another rare. Reverse rares. We're getting pretty solid ones. At the end, we have a non-holographic rare. But I think you guys saw that, so nothing too surprising. Oops. Three more packs here. Next pack. After this one, we have two more. We did a V card. Um, I think we need another technical pull to be around the good... I guess, like, the good, um, like, luck area. If we get another one, we'll, we'll, we'll be hitting around average, uh, slightly above average, technically. Knocked out. Undentified Fossil. Dartrix. Roll it. The Quillfish. Oshawott. Hoot Hoot. Ponyard. That is an, oh, that's a trippy art for Ponyard, but I kind of like it. I kind of like that art. Next, we do have a cannot, chat not, tannot, yeah, reverse. And at the end, we have, oh, we do have a dark cry V. And I did say I wanted that dark cry V. I just love dark cry. He is one of my favorite, probably my favorite, uh, uh, dark type. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Umbreon is pretty much close, close up there, but I think that's for the average person as well. Sorry, guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very special. My favorite vote one's Lucario. Um, I do think my favorite card itself is pretty unique, as well as my favorite, like, art in a card. And then also, like, one of my favorite cards because one of the first cards I ever pulled. So, that's, I think, pretty unique, but other than that, I'm pretty basic. That's an awesome card, though. Alright. Oh, my favorite type is Grass, which is totally out of the blue, because I don't even like Venusaur. Um... I do like Bulbasaur, I just don't like Venusaur or the middle one. I don't even know if I fucking know its name. I'm this I'm don't don't slack me for this. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, of the original three, um, to be honest. I don't think they're the I do think they're the best ones, but I don't know which one I'd pick. Um probably Charizard. Um probably Charmander, but I don't know, man. I feel like there's better ones, you know. I'd rather pick like a Rylu. Am I trying to be different? I don't know. D Watt there, he's Probably hot in the sun there. You start to take a bath. We have a fish there. We got a bunch of leaves, bro. Yo, clean up. Yo, you better be cleaning up that, that pool for my boy, dude. He's gonna die. You have a bigger version. This one's 113 pounds. That is extremely... That is... Wow. Okay. Too serious, man. This is about Pokemon cards. Quillfish. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's awesome. Oh, this... I love this Growlithe. I like this art. Uh, Bergmite. Rough it. That's a good art as well. Toga, Toga, Toga Tick. Reverse. That is an uncommon at the end. We have. Ooh. Over Quill. You, if you have at least three darkness energies in your play, this attack does ninety more damage. Interesting. All right. And we have our last pack here. Can we get something good? Can we get something amazing? Can you get this into not just a regular uh, Elite Trainer Box, but a goaded Elite Trainer Box? And here we have what I wonder what this is. V-Star, Energy Lotto, Overquill, Commando, Ponyta, the K Carrot Man. I was going to say the Carrot Man. Cricket Tot or something. Psyduck. Rufflet. Uh, Quillfish. Quillfish again. Imagine it was Quillfish again. 
No, I think it I think it happened one time where it was like my my thing was a little like messed up um because of um I think it was for Sword and Shield. They ended up miss I think messing up an entire batch. And it must have been a serious thing because I kept it kept happening to me, bros. Um uh, but basically what was happening was um in, instead of an energy, I would just straight up be getting holographics. No idea why, but they're hilarious. Uh, they're probably in my Sword and Shield uh, Road to go to Golden's Ocean, which I've yet to pull them. Um, but that's probably a thing. And I, I, I don't exactly know what the hell is going on with that. So that's interesting, at least. Um, cool fish in the game we have. Not holographic there. But yeah, that was like a thing. Um, so it happened like where I, the first card I got was like, I think an Inteleon. I got ended up getting an Inteleon Reverse and an Inteleon non holographic rare, um, which was like super weird. But there are technically different types of Inteleon, but they were all Inteleon, so that's a thing I guess. Um, I would say this was a pretty good pull actually. I'll put this slightly above average. I do have to say, um, and you'll see why. Uh, so these are the pulls. We did get an uncommon, which is pretty good. We did get a rare, so I'll start in pretty solid. We got another rare, an uncommon, another rare, three rare, so a reverse is solid. Uh, uncommon, I mean, a common, an uncommon, a common. So pretty solid with reverses. I think the only thing would have been better would have been an actual pull from a reverse. And I believe some cards are in a reverse slot for this set, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not entirely sure, but I believe. I'm, I, I'm like 50-50. We did get a holographic. We did get a two V star, a V card. So that's I think absolutely above average pulls, or at least average. Um, which good. That's good. But yeah, man, that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out every, everything else down in the description. Put my TikTok, Instagram, gaming channel, Lego channel, so see my down below. Um, yeah, check out the giveaway in the description. First link. Um. Sorry about the not being able to upload in the other channels. Uh, I should start doing that soon. Uh, thank you guys. And like I said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys.